Nature has its moments of startling surprises, one such instance occurred when a wolf unexpectedly infiltrated the hospital, the ensuing chaos prompted a nurse to break into tears upon discovering the cause, muffled screams reverberated through the hospital, prompting Ella to investigate, despite the absence of alarming noises or sirens, Ella, accustomed to handling crises as an emergency department nurse, rushed towards the disturbance her path was obstructed by an orderly who hinted at an unusual situation unfolding in the hospital, an uninvited wolf on the loose, animal control had been summoned to apprehend the wolf, which, though not aggressive, posed a potential threat, the hospital staff took precautions, securing patient doors while the wolf roamed the hallways, intrigued by the commotion, ISA, with prior experience in animal rescue, decided to approach the situation, drawing closer. ISA recognized the wolf, named Lupe, and was astonished by what she observed, Lupe bore a distinctive mark over her nose, instantly triggering Ella's memory, Lupe was a wolf Ella had assisted as a pup, stemming from a traumatic event, a massive forest fire had ravaged the area connected to their town, endangering the hospital on the outskirts, firefighters redirected their efforts, creating barriers between the forest and the hospital, successfully safeguarding the town, unfortunately, the unchecked fire had devastating consequences for the forest, leaving numerous animals injured or worse, overwhelmed sanctuaries and veterinarians sought assistance, an ISA, a human nurse with a deep love for animals, volunteered her medical expertise at the sanctuary, making a valuable contribution to the recovery efforts, she embarked on a learning journey in animal care, acquiring knowledge on the go, and the sanctuary welcomed any assistance she could provide, using her free time. ISA dedicated herself to tending to the animals affected by the forest fire, bandaging small creatures, treating wounds and scrapes, and administering oxygen to those struggling to breathe, however, one particular animal would leave an indelible mark on ISA's life, while working on a hedgehog with severe quill and skin injuries, she received an urgent call, a tiny wolf pup, trapped beneath rocks during the fire, was in need of immediate attention, the pup, later named Lupe, had sustained a deep cut on her nose, and sadly, her mother and siblings had not survived. Approaching the injured pup, ISA gently picked her up, and in that moment, a profound connection formed, little Lupe, bleeding and with signs of smoke inhalation, required intensive care, ISA, along with her friend Mike, provided round-the-clock attention, and Lupe gradually regained strength. Placed with another mother wolf and her pups, Lupe was adopted into their family when released back into the wild on the assumption that the wild would reclaim her. Ella was under the impression that it would be the final time she would see Lupe, while Ella was observing a wolf prowling the grounds of the hospital a few years later, she became convinced that the wolf in question was Lupe, the once vulnerable puppy had matured into a wild monster, and Ella questioned whether or not Lupe would remember the human who had been her nurse in the past, having made up her mind to remove the wolf from the premises of the hospital in a secure manner, Ella approached Lupe with caution. It came as a complete surprise to her when she found out that Lupe was carrying a severely injured young wolf pup in her jaws, when Ella was overcome with emotion by the information, she couldn't help but cry tears when she saw the injured puppy and realized that it need immediate medical attention. Ella noted that the puppy's leg appeared to be broken after conducting a more thorough examination, the fact that Lupe sought assistance from people was a reflection of the care she received when she was a puppy. In light of the fact that animal control was on its approach, Ella experienced a sense of urgency to provide assistance to the wolf before she could be put in danger. During the time that Lupe was carefully observing the nurse, Ella waited with bated breath to see if there was any recognition, suddenly, Ella made a startling move by extending her hand to Lupe as she approached, the injured puppy was placed in Ella's hand, which was a demonstration of trust on Lupe's part, which everyone found to be astonishment, Lupe appeared to acknowledge Ella's wish to assist her, despite the fact that it was still unclear whether or not she recognized her caregiver, Ella was left speechless when she held the injured puppy in her hands by the sudden appearance of Lupe, who sprinted out of the sliding door and disappeared despite the unexplained absence, Ella placed the pet's health and happiness as her top priority, during the time that she was waiting for animal control and the accompanying veterinarian, she cleaned and cleaned its wounds, at the end of her shift, 
She had a lingering feeling that hinted at a more significant problem with Lupe, Ella reached out to her. Friend Mike, who is an experienced sanctuary worker, for guidance before making the decision to travel into the forest, she did this despite the fact that animal control was getting closer, she thought that by releasing a live pin for Mike to find her, she would be able to solve the mystery that surrounded Lupe, even if it meant that she would have to face unexpected problems while being on an unplanned hike Ella who had just finished working a 12-hour emergency shift, went into the bush in search of Lupe, she was wearing sneakers that made walking easier, and she was fatigued, in spite of the fact that the search had lasted for more than an hour without yielding any results, exhaustion started to set in, he suddenly heard a mournful wail that caused her to stop what she was doing, she was considering giving up and getting some much-needed sleep when she heard the howl, Ella approached slowly, cognizant of the potential dangers when she carefully followed the sounds that were being made by peering between the branches of the trees. She was able to establish that the howling wolf was, in fact, Lupe. Lupe was pacing frantically near to an ancient drinking well as she reached a clearing, she spoke gently as she entered the clearing, while Ella was investigating the well, she made a stunning find, two additional wolf pups were imprisoned inside, Lupe's behavior indicated that she wanted Ella to follow her and Ella's discovery was unexpected. In the course of her efforts to save her young, it seemed as though Lupe had been successful in retrieving one of them, but in the process, she accidentally wounded its leg. Although Lupe was thankful that Ella had stepped in to help with the hunt, it was clear that she was in a desperate situation because the surviving puppies required emergency medical attention. Ella was confronted with a difficult circumstance despite the fact that she was unable to design a plan without ropes or support. It came as a complete surprise to both Ella and Lupe when Mike, Ella's companion from the sanctuary, suddenly appeared out of nowhere, on the other hand, Lupe, who was anxious and had no prior experience with the newcomer, responded angrily and charged towards Mike even though Ella made an effort to interfere, Lupe's instincts to defend her family were successful, on the other hand, just as Lupe was about to reach Mike, she suddenly halted and sniffed the air, leaving everyone in a state of tension. In the midst of Ella's contemplation over whether Lupe detected a threat or a connection, the tension in the air remained elevated, it appeared as though Lupe was able to identify Mike's scent, probably because she recalled the care that he had provided for her when she was little and unwell, the more anxious Lupe was about rescuing her puppies, the more she hurried back to them without expressing any signs of hostility, in a fortunate turn of events, Mike, who is an experienced wildlife rescuer, was carrying emergency hiking gear with him, this gear included climbing, Gear and a rope Mike ventured down into the well with the help of the apparatus in order to collect the puppies that had been harmed. They were gentle with the damaged puppies as they passed each one to Ella, who was waiting above them. Following the rescue, they gave Lupe permission to smell and lick her children after they were reunited, it was Lupe who sprinted alongside them as they made their way back to their automobiles, Lupe eagerly joined the rescued puppies once they arrived at Mike's truck, where they were placed in a cage in the back of the vehicle ISA. Having a strong desire to observe the unfolding of the events. Followed them to the sanctuary, as soon as the veterinarian arrived, he immediately inspected the rescued puppies and discovered that they were in significantly better health than their sister who had been brought to the hospital earlier, the family was moved to a larger enclosure so that they could get the much needed rest they required, on the other hand. An extraordinary event took place when they presented Lupe with the last puppy, it was clear that the wolf was overjoyed, as evidenced by its jumping up and down actions, ISA was overcome with emotion as she witnessed the touching reunion, and she couldn't help but laugh, there was, however, a gloomy finding uncovered in the midst of all the joy, during the course of her energetic motions, Lupe experienced a moment of stumble and disclosed a stunning truth, she had a piece of steel sticking out of her own tummy. This wounded had been inflicted by the wolf when she was attempting to save her puppies, and despite the fact that she was in pain and bleeding, she continued to concentrate on the welfare of her young, as soon as they realized how serious Lupe's condition was, they hurriedly transported her to the operating room so that the foreign object could be removed, as a result of the procedure, Lupe experienced a substantial amount of blood loss, which highlighted the severity of her sickness, the crew was able to properly stop the bleeding, despite the fact that they were in disbelief that Lupe had remained on her feet, for such a long time. 
Her recuperation, on the other hand, would be a slow and steady process, at this point in time, taking care of Lupe's puppies became an important priority, the job of bottle feeding and caring for the puppies was taken on by Mike and Ella, who also placed Lupe in a separate enclosure that was near to them, this structure made it possible for the puppies to interact safely through the wires of the cage, so assuring that Lupe would not be harmed by the puppies accidentally while she was resting and recuperating, Lupe and her puppies grew stronger as the weeks went by, which contributed to their overall strength, when they eventually reached the point when they determined that Lupe and her kids were prepared to be released back into the wild, a remarkable moment occurred when Lupe and her babies were released into the world, and Mike and Ella were there to see it, the remarkable metamorphosis that Lupe had experienced, which had seemed unthinkable when she first arrived at the hospital, was brought to light when she witnessed them run into the jungle, strong and robust, following these uplifting moments, Mike and Ella celebrated with a supper, with their bond being enhanced as a result of the experience that they had spent together, they reminisced on the incredible adventure that they had been a part of and made a commitment to keep in touch with one another. They were thankful for the opportunity to be a part of such an extraordinary story, and they looked forward to hearing even more wonderful stories in the years to come.